Hello, everyone, and welcome to the 15th episode of Reading the Comments for Tales of Honor podcast. If you're new to listening to the show in, in general or to the Reading the Comments section, what I do is I pick comments from YouTube videos, from Facebook, and from emails, and also comments from the website. And I try to pick three uh, per per little section here. I used to do uh, a little format of two good ones and one oddball, um, but the oddball ones have seemed to uh, peter off, which I'm more than happy with, but at the same time, they did provide some comic relief. So today, I do have three more comments, and before we get into them, if you would like to have your comment read on reading the comments, go ahead, leave your comment. It's that simple. I've said the word comment quite a bit now in a very short amount of time, but you can do so over on Facebook, over at talesofhonorpodcast.com, on our YouTube channel, and uh, you can also send emails over to talesofhonorpodcast at gmail.com. If I like it, I'll read it. Uh, Almost all of them do get read. (laughs) I I try to uh, stay up with it, and that's why I space them out the way I do. This way I have uh, a little bit of... uh, time for people to write in and whatnot. So let's jump into today's first comment. It comes from episode number 181 on John Bulkley. This comes from Peanut8421. I always, first of all, I always love reading some of these usernames. <laughs> it's, it's very interesting. Anyway, Peanut8421 writes, I served aboard DDG-84 USS Bulkley. So glad you made a video for my ship's namesake. Most decorated naval officer in American history. Well, Peanut, if I may call you Peanut, thank you for writing in. Um, I I do always enjoy getting um, messages like this because while I do my research and I, f- I find out that you know names were uh, or ships were named after some of these recipients, um, it's always kind of cool to to then because that, that's putting p- part of my job of the show is to put a name and face and to a story. But then to find out that there's another name and a face that's related to this name uh, is kind of cool. So he- hearing about people who are serving on ships named after these people is, is uh, in, my, in my opinion, it's, it's just as cool. It's no longer just a ship. It's now putting a, another, another person, you know, another piece of the puzzle and seeing how all these, how we're all related in one way, shape or form, you know, it's kind of a six degrees of Kevin Bacon situation here, but with Medal of Honor recipients, and I always enjoy that. So thank you very much, Peanut8421. Moving on to the next comment from episode 199, which was David Dolby. Another interesting name here is Judas Goat America. I have so many questions, but Judas Goat writes, David, while serving with the 173rd in a mission to destroy a alleged VC village, found a young Vietnamese woman behind a hiding in a cabinet and spared her life. Short story, they married and while she was walking down a road somewhere in PA, she was hit by a car and killed. I met Dolby at a 173rd reunion in San Antonio and I listened to his story among a small group of men and a couple females. After he was done, he had his after he was done, he had this grin on his face, but to be fair, the VAMC had him, David, so pumped up with psychotropic drugs the head shrinkers literally destroyed his mind. IMO, in my opinion. It's also said by those who served with him, like John Leppelman. After his wife died, he gave up the ghost, if you would. Leppelman died of cancer some time ago. He did nearly three tours in Nam. I should make one point clear. The eyes and ears for the 173rd Airborne was the 75th Airborne Rangers attached with the 173rd, whom Mad Dog Dolby served with. Well, Judas Goat, thank you very much for that comment, even though it's a long one, but that's fine. Um, There's a lot to unpack there. I mean, yeah, I've heard other stories like this from Vietnam, um, you know, GIs that that end up meeting um, someone, you know, a woman in Vietnam, getting married, bringing them home to America and whatnot. Um, So having that piece put in here is pretty interesting. Uh, I was unaware of that uh, or that his wife was then killed by a car. As far as the, the VA and the drugs, uh, I, I mean, I have I have my own experiences with this and um, not to say it's not true or didn't happen, we don't know, but um, it's definitely plausible 
uh, what what some of these um, uh, medications can do to your mindset, what what it can do to you and your memories. Um, it's it's pretty sad. Uh, thankfully, from my experience, it was very short lived, but um, still impactful from from my life today. Um, but but anyway, thank you, there, thank you very much for the comment. Really appreciate it. Moving on to the last one is uh, from episode 447, Vito Bertoldo. Uh, it's, that's actually a really cool story. And, and mentioning, uh, before we get into the comment, the comment mentions the Net- Netflix docuseries about uh, the Medal of Honor, which was a, a, a cool series. And I, I wish they kept going with it. Um, I, I hope there are more coming out in the future. If you haven't checked them out, please go do so. They're pretty good reenactments um you know professional grade reenactments uh nice nicely done on the medal of honor i believe if i remember correctly there are eight i could be wrong on that i'm not looking it up right now you can fact check me later anyway this comment comes from the notorious nemo again more questions about the names uh so many but anyway the notorious nemo writes watching the netflix docuseries this one is the craziest stories i've heard of i couldn't believe it And when the second wave of troops came, I said, oh, f**k, he's dead. There's no way you can get out of that one. Really impressive. Thank you very much, The Notorious Nemo, for your comment. And uh, I agree. It's it's an incredible story, as almost every single one of these stories are. Um, But uh, whenever you hear of some of these stories of, specifically in this one with Vito, um, a, a singular person, just one person, doing you know in this case uh he is credited with with uh with killing at least 40 enemy soldiers in about 48 hours without rest or relief um it's it's absolutely um it, it's crazy and the, they did a very good job of it in the um in the docu series so if you haven't gone and seen that go do so and uh, that's it for reading the comments number 15. Again, if you want to have your comment read, or if you have something you would like to comment on, go over to all the platforms that you can find over at talesofhonorpodcast.com and uh, drop a note, and we'll read it on the air. That's it. Have a good one.